Pikachu? Oh. Uh, he's picking. Uh, the. Okay, Booty's picking Pichu. Uh, Interesting. I haven't seen him play Pichu in months. But hey, we're going to see it today. He is rocking the Team Aqua Hat, which I super agree with. The only Gen 3 representation in this entire game. No, there's, Pik there's Pikachu uh, Brandon. Oh, yeah. Fair. But, okay. Oh. So, Pichu over Meta Knight. He yeah. is going to be getting a projectile out of the trade. Yeah, and, but like um, like never said earlier, Foresight. Yeah, and but I mean, on the other side, obviously we have to mention that Pichu is a very light, very light character, uh, and you can already see Aqua switching to the Pyra because I really think any stray hit oh. will be the thing to do. It. Yep. But a great drag down there by Booty, uh, taking advantage of that not so great recovery there from the Aegis. Yeah, and, and it's it's really funny to me that like um, Pichu's back here is like one of those multi hits where like it's okay that not all of the hits work because you can apply it to other things, mm -hmm. such as we saw from Booty earlier. Yeah, and Booty gets some great combos uh, starting here. We haven't seen Foresight come into play just yet. Yeah, no, and Aqua's missing up smashes. Pichu very small. It's a lot of hot, really hard to stop. Up air? Ooh. That would definitely get a jump out of that. Maybe. <laughs> but I just stood there. Invincible. Y'all hear Not something? <laughs> Alright, back air putting Aqua back off stage. Oh, he's in the grab. Yeah, that down air hitbox is huge. She can do that from just wherever she wants. And the small crit box of Pichu just yeah. going right under that blazing end. Yeah, but it's gonna get, and it's gonna get the downside with the invincibility startup. Actually, gonna take the second stock. Oh, red right air dodge! What a wait! It's the jab lock too, and nice. great nice. Yep, timing the with the thunder. All right, so a pretty dominant game one coming in from Booty right now. Yeah. A, a and, clean two stock. Yeah, and that timing on, on that um, down beat, I got. I, if I remember correctly, he, I could have sworn he told me that Pichu has like one frame of, of the spike on the cloud, while, P, while Pikachu has like four frames into it. Or it's the other way around. Either way, it's, yeah, but it's still a good timing. Yeah. Uh, I wish we could have seen the air dodge right before that downer, because that was, yeah, that was, was such huge. a good wait. Oh, that's, yeah, the cloud's already there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so there's definitely more frames. I'm tripping. But the, but the hitbox is definitely way bigger than Pikachu's. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I really think he could have jumped out of that. But uh, P Pichu is a fastballer, so he, he, um, he has more combo with Deceptive. Mm -hmm. Let's see what our counter pick is going to be. Aqua will be taking us to town and city, it looks like. Yeah, so I believe we're going to still see the Pichu. And I got to say, the Pichu was, ended up being the, the better choice over Mennonite, because I can see a lot of struggle with Mennonite. Yeah, yeah. The, no no doubt the Pichu worked. We'll see how this game two comes in. Three, two, one, go! Ha! <laughs> wow, Booty, Booty missed the full hop on, the, on that uh, first under build. Oh, there we go. Foresight finally coming into play. I don't think we saw Foresight come out once in nope. <laughs> game one. So, getting Aqua a chance to get back to neutral. Oh, here we go again. Yeah. Aqua has learned that Foresight is a pretty good, good mechanic. Yeah. Pretty honest mechanic. <laughs> honest. Oh, oh, good, good option from like opting away from the um, the stage. Yeah, I like the use of the neutral B there to try and catch multiple options there from from Booty. Right, blazing end, getting Booty, getting Booty away. The forward air, you back off stage again. Oh, oh yep, he right. actually again. hit that spike. Nice. And it actually traded. Yep, great timing by Booty. Aqua looking for a hard read there. Booty certainly not biting. But, I mean, things are definitely looking better than they were in game one. 
So I think it all comes down to if Aqua is able to get this kill right now. But I mean, oh, oh not a few oh. missing techs. Yeah, Booty's gonna be getting resets. Yeah, luckily he only got the down tilt instead of the drop because that was definitely death door right there. Oh, man. Boom, yeah. excuse me? Yeah. And another spike. An actual spike. Yep. Switching back to the Pyro, trying to find a kill. Oh, that I think w that absolutely would have killed, but Aqua got to ledge instead. Another no tech. Booty's getting resets for days. Almost died off the top. Well, actually able to get the neutral air out of shield on that up smash. Aqua finally getting a stock, but you know, at what cost? You're at 65 on potentially your last stock of winners right now. Ooh, that's certainly not a safe thing to do on a Pichu shield. That's a jump. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think even without the spike, I think that was a dead Pyra. Yeah, definitely dog. Definitely um, try to um, drop the legend jump and Woody caught that with the jab. And yeah. honestly, one of like the more uh, least used moves that is actually pretty good in uh, P2 and Pikachu's kit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially for catching, you know, Aggressive double jump options, from ledge. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was very wonky, though. But yeah, good showing from Booty. Like, that, that was that ended up a lot more um, breathable matchup than it, than it would be if it was Meta Knight. Mm hmm absolutely. But yeah, good stuff. Yep. Yeah. Caught it to start up with the, um, the prominent revolt. Yep. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oops all oh, dares. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. No jump, you're, you're very limited in options <laughs> after that. I just saw on the on the switch screen. I just saw like one of the uh, like hint things. It just said, "How do I win a Smash battle?" 